how many eigenvalues does a matrix have? You learned how to compute the eigenvalues already, but it's always nice to know in advance what you're looking for. So in this case, it's good to know for how many eigenvalues you are looking before you start computing them. Fortunately, there's a theorem which will tell us exactly how many eigenvalues an n by n matrix have, as we'll see in this video. Let's look at some examples first. We have three 2 by 2 matrices, A1, A2, A3, and let's compute the eigenvalues of those three matrices. So we add a minus lambda on the diagonal and compute the, the determinant, so we get a minus lambda squared minus 4 equals 0 for the first one, or a lambda squared equals 4, so lambda equals plus or minus 2. Well, for this A2, it's even easier, you can read off the eigenvalues straight away, or if you want, add a minus lambda and then you get 2 minus lambda squared equals 0, so we only have lambda equals 2. And then for the last one, at minus lambda, so we get minus lambda squared plus, but now plus 4 equals 0, so lambda equals plus or minus 2i. So here we have complex eigenvalues. So the first uh, matrix has two uh, real eigenvalues, second matrix has one real eigenvalue, and the third matrix has only two complex eigenvalues and no real eigenvalues. But well, if you include complex eigenvalues, and this matrix has two eigenvalues, that matrix has two eigenvalues, and this matrix, well, has sort of two eigenvalues. Okay, lambda equals two is an eigenvalue, but it is kind of occurring twice. So we would like to say that this matrix also has two eigenvalues. And for that, we introduce the notion of algebraic mul multiplicity of an eigenvalue. So what's that? Algebraic multiplicity, we will abbreviate it by AM later on. Well, algebraic multiplicity of an eigenvalue is the number of times it occurs in the characteristic equation. So the number of factors, lambda minus lambda zero in the characteristic equation. So what would that be for our three matrices over here? Well, for the first one, the characteristic polynomial equals lambda squared minus 4. We can factorize it, lambda minus 2 times lambda plus 2. So we have lambda 1 equals 2. It occurs only once in the characteristic equation, so its algebraic multiplicity equals 1. Same for the lambda minus 2. Algebraic multiplicity equals 1 as well. Then for the second matrix, something special happens. Characteristic polynomial equals lambda minus 2 squared. So this lambda equals 2 occurs twice in the characteristic equa equation. So we say algebraic multiplicity equals 2. And then the last one, characteristic polynomial lambda squared plus 4. We can factorize it in lambda minus 2i times lambda plus 2i. So we have a 2i eigenvalue with multiplicity 1 and a minus 2i also with algebraic multiplicity 1. And now, if we compute how many eigenvalues we have, we we'll always count including multiplicities. So that means uh, an eigenvalue with algebraic multiplicity 2 counts twice, and an eigenvalue with algebraic multiplicity 10, say, counts 10 times. So that means that we as multiplicities, if we count, we say, well, the first matrix has two eigenvalues, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Second matrix also has two eigenvalues because we have the lambda equals 2 with algebraic multiplicity 2, so it counts twice, which means that this one has also two eigenvalues. And then the last matrix uh, has also two eigenvalues, 2i and minus 2i. So all these three 2 by 2 matrices have two eigenvalues if you include complex eigenvalues. Well, is that a coincidence? Well, not really. We can use for this the main theorem of algebra. If you have an n by n matrix, you get an n uh, nth degree polynomial, and main theorem of algebra tells you that this polynomial has exactly 
n zeros when you include multiplicities like this. So that means that an n by n matrix has exactly n possibly complex eigenvalues because its characteristic equation is of degree n, so it has n eigenvalues which can be complex possibly. So it means in particular that if you have that you have less real eigenvalues, so an n by n matrix has n eigenvalues, complex, and at most n real eigenvalues. So now if you're looking for eigenvalues of a matrix you know already in advance for how many eigenvalues you have to look.